Hello my Sock Universe and welcome to another collection ready video where we look at just one dedicated shirt and you saw it already we will be looking at this old Olympic de Marseille 1920 home jersey which is actually from their 120th anniversary season quite some interesting things to look at it's actually a really sweet design I got this off classic football shirts last year and it comes without a sponsor Initially, I wanted to show you a much, much darker jersey, uh, jer jersey, probably the blackest one in my collection. However, I am wearing at the moment a Real Madrid third shirt that I have made a video also about. And then I said, yeah, with a dark jersey, I better show you a light one. And I know that the lights here will become a little bit of a problem because they will drown out some of the details here. You can see it already. So I will at times maybe take off the light to show you the final details on that. But before we look into that shirt, I, a little bit of history with me and Olympique de Marseille. Um, 20 years ago, maybe 25 years ago, if you would have uh, told me that I will own a Marseille jersey, you would have thought, get out of here. I hated that team. I literally hated the team. And it comes all down to the fact that I was a huge Milan fan and they were the absolute nemesis in 1991 because of this matchup against Marseille in the quarterfinals. Uh, Milan, twice defending champions, were booted out of the uh, then European Cup, now Champions League. So that didn't uh, ball, ball well. So there was the seed already so in that final. I definitely was more for Red Star Belgrade. Yeah, definitely more. Um, and then when they beat Milan in 93 final and you know at that time uh, how old was I 15 maybe 15 uh, let me see uh, yeah 15 I I was dead set at that time Milan is gonna take uh, over from Barcelona as the champions. They were by far the best team. They stormed through this competition, hadn't lost a single game. I remember going uh, on that day in a bookstore and thinking, yeah, and tonight the reign of Barcelona will be over and it will be Milan's turn again. Time to shine. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, last game of Van Basten, Basil Boli, and everything else is his history. And that it might be the one that hurt most of all the uh, Champions League final losses of Milan that I experienced, although the Liverpool was there, the, but this one, uh, yeah. And then uh, a year later, we were visiting uh, from school Paris, where the boy there was a huge PSG fan, and at that time I already knew that Marseille is not a good team, and I remember one of the first talks we had uh, were kind of, you know, I hate Marseille, and then uh, we bonded over, over that, yeah, so that logo for the longest of times, nope. I uh, have to say my stance a little bit uh, got softer when I saw that Marseille is absolutely not a villain in, in, anymore. Uh, you know, with all the bribery that went on, you know, even the Champions League uh, winning quote, I mean, I still think that the title should have taken away from, from them and the final should have been replayed with uh, Milan against Rangers. Rangers, yes, that would have been the proper final. Alas, it was not played, and Marseille still there. Their star up there for their singular Champions League win. So, this always will remind me of that. However, as I said, my stance lowered a lot on them because they were not the adversary anymore. And I have to say, I even uh, they reached two uh, UEFA Cup finals. When they played against Parma, there was no way I'm gonna, I'm going to be for Marseille. But I think the one against Valencia, I actually felt a little bit for for for, for them. And yeah, uh, it all ebbed and flowed. Uh, still squarely on the PSG set, but I wouldn't say that I hate Marseille anymore. In fact, I actually have a lot of uh, respect for their fan base and, and, and so on. The velodrome is one of the uh, greatest atmospheres, I think, uh, that Europe has at, uh, the, not at the moment, but before the law, the law doctor. So um, they're all also the stadium in Marseille. So I recognize their place, not only in French uh, for football, but also their rightful place in the pantheon of European greats. 
For that reason, uh, when it came to add Ligue 1 jerseys beyond PSG to my collection, it was pretty clear that there needs to be a Marseille jersey in there. And this is the one that they had on sale back then. And I think I meanwhile well, could, could have gotten even from Spar Sports, but a teeny bit cheaper. But I have to say, I don't regret this because I, at that time, I really needed, needed one and I wanted to get this one. I'm, let's look at the details here. I'm, I mean, the pinstriping is really nice. And I have to say, up until the 80s, uh, Marseille was with a much more royal blue. And then exactly for this Champions League season, they switched, uh, uh, you know, the Kante. Kante came up with enough famous Adidas equipment, Tentapel with the three stripes over the shoulder here. And at that point, it was lighter blue. And I have to say, it, 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 is, it is a damn nice color costume. And I cannot tell you how much I want to have the current weight jersey. And I, I'm really thinking of buying it very soon. Uh, despite the price not really coming down. Uh, because the colors are really, really, really nice of Marseille. Don't get me wrong, I like the PSG colors too, but uh, Mar Marseille, there, there, there's something about it, especially with white and the light blue and uh, of the big rivalries, maybe are, uh, if PSG has their traditional look, might be one of the best looking rivalries out there, I have to say. So yeah, you, so you see this pin strapping, but there's more to it. And for that, I'm gonna turn off the light because uh, that is something that I didn't realize until I got this jersey. Yes, it's a little bit darker here, but we will be able to see. Look at the pin strapping. You see there's a little bit of an effect in there. I thought, hmm, this is maybe some brush effect. No, read closer. It actually, there's letters in there re spelling out the name of the club, Olympique de Marseille. Uh, so I wanna go a little bit closer. It's pretty cool that this is in there or is it i'm going back and forth on this how what of great touch this is i wonder um would it have looked better if we were just going um only with the letters and kind of have this feel because if you really if you look look at it from far away it really looks like this it is a straight pinstripes if you go a little bit closer uh, you can't can, can see that the stripes are not very straight and then if you look it up close then you see the, le the letters. I think it's one of those great gimmicks that uh, once you see it you actually love it. Let's uh, pull, 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 pull the light again because I don't want to be as much dark as that. And you know, I have at the moment a kind of a 70s hairstyle. You saw it in the previous video. It has been seven months and I don't dislike my wild look but yeah gets really really wild but it's not the longest hair that i ever had in, in in my life i think when i was 17 18 i went until here the problem is my hair goes like this and not straight down so yeah that's why and it will get hot in summer back to the jersey i think this is really nice i mean we have here even uh the 120th anniversary uh tag here which I think is also a very, very nice touch. I go a little bit out of, out of, out of, out of the light with that one. So you can see it. So this is really nicely done uh, with kind of a shield, the French flag and then it says uh, saint vingtième anniversaire. Uh, it is plain on, on, on the back. And then this um, Puma template last season, uh, and this is not on my Milan jersey because uh, they used uh, rather must must refer but most pump pump that was had like Nike this little uh, stripe back there and unlike Nike they have up there the um, uh, the collar comes over so despite this part being super stretchy it doesn't stretch on top because you see here on the inside there is the it's a little bit more straight uh, details are in here and then of course uh, we have also you know this Puma tag with the number uh, I actually want to see if there's anything coming out if I put this uh, product code up there uh, it's a very breathable format material on front and on back and I have to say I mean maybe in the back maybe a teeny bit no it's very similar I think it's all very very breathable this is something I really really like I have to say uh, and I'm actually I probably should wear this in summer because it's a great for hot weather. I think this could be a great jersey to be, despite it being not a team that I like all that much. Uh, but yeah, they produce really nice jerseys, and I'm very, very, uh, literally, I'm very happy that I have this 
beautiful Marseille jersey. Uh, the team actually qualified for the Champions League in that one in an abandoned season that also needs to be mentioned and uh, you know the current uh, president Macron is uh, yeah, pretty much a big OM fan fan and it's very much said that he was behind canceling a season early so that OM can make it to the Champions League. So yeah, uh, another conspiracy theory right, right there. Well, maybe the one thing I regret on this one is that the um, pinstriping pattern is only on this patch. This is like modern soccer jersey, what I don't like. I don't see a reason why it cannot continue on, on the back. Even if you put a number over, it doesn't disrupt the number too, too much. But yeah, I think this one is a beauty. I really, really li I like it. Let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know about any uh, memories that you have of Marseille wearing the, the, this one. And um, Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more jerseys from my collection, although there are already quite some videos on my channel up there. Just look for the playlist. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.